So I'm a real big believer in learning by doing. Uh, and you know, Fun2, a lot about what we're doing here at Fun2 is really helping you learn how to do Fun2 development. So in that spirit, I created a new status on the bug tracker called ready to fix. So bugs that, that are in the ready to fix state they are basically tasks that new developers can do and they're very clear they have a lot of instruction they have a lot of context and background information so they're somewhat educational even to do i, I made sure that they're really um, useful and productive educational uh, bugs to fix in a sense because you'll learn as you do them so to find these bugs just go to the bug tracker and if you look in the upper left hand corner, you'll see a category called ready to fix. And I'll show a screenshot of it in the video. You can also search for these in the advanced search in JIRA. And all you need to do is find one of these bugs that you feel like you want to tackle or that looks appropriate for you, like you'll, you'd learn something from it. And you'll click on the bug and then there's a button called start work when you're logged in and you just click that button and that marks it it assigns the bug to you and then go ahead and submit a pull request as per the specifications in the bug i explain what the problem is um, and then the best way to fix it and why that fix works so you actually learn from doing the bug you get real experience and then go ahead and send a pull request uh, through code.funtu.org and I'll apply that pull request and I'll comment on the bug. And that's how you get started with Funtu development. So these little tasks, they fix real problems. I'm, I'm, I have them queued up and ready for people to just tackle so they can learn how to uh, get involved and, and to fix these bugs. And as you do more, you're going to get more and more experience developing for Funtu. And then maybe you'll submit your own pull requests. You won't necessarily need to work off of these ready to fix bugs, but I'm going to use this category to really track stuff that um, I want the community to fix. And I'm going to try to queue up bugs for the community to fix and provide more context and information to make them more educational rather than actually fixing the bugs and sending the pull requests in myself. So it's really giving you an opportunity to get involved. And to do that, I'm sort of holding back a bit on just fixing everything for you. So definitely look in the ready to fix category. Look for these bugs that need to get fixed. Tackle some, send me pull requests. You'll get more experience with Fun2 and you will also help to make Fun2 better. So look on bugs.fun2.org, uh, pick some and I will see you online. Remember to also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, to subscribe. And I'm looking forward to some pull requests. I'll see you online, bye.